So just to reiterate about what this thing is, let's go over that again, what you want to do this interview about. This interview, just to, uh, basically I know you have a following on Facebook. I know you represent anti-safe injection site, and I can understand that. Yeah, we don't want to make it our subject to this, but you know, at this time, once they legalize heroin, that's it for the United States. Well, let's, let's hit on that fact about them legalizing heroin. No, we don't want to sit and talk about it. Okay. Understand the fact of it. Okay. That once they do that, that's the end of it, because at that point in time, they've overstepped every boundary, <coughs> and right before your face, and right in the middle of public debate, and right before the entire world watching. Understand that. Yes. And I am always adamant about what I believe in. There's a big difference between an angel being an asshole and a demon being an asshole. Big difference. One God sees us, you know what? Yeah, you're right, you took enough shit from him already. The other one is, you go near him again like that and that's it for you, you're gone, you're done. These are people who killed Dr. King. These are people who killed Malcolm X. These are people who killed Bobby and, and John Kennedy. And all for this. All for this. But anyhow, I digress. Yeah, we know. The devil's making a precedent here. Oh, I know. I'll leave right. my state. But not a problem. God is too. I don't know how you feel about all my They are just fruits. Do not turn one against the other. Be slow to anger. Do not raise your hand to your brother. The people on both sides of Jordan were put at each other for that purpose so that the aristocracy and the leaders and the other and conquer. could take all the money. That's right. What's going on now? I say it. Why do you think they want to teach charter schools since 95 when they made English a second language? Charter, so you're going to have this truth over here and that truth over there, and this, this truth is going to tell you those people get hated. This truth over here, those are animals that need to be extinguished. And that's what they're calling school and education. They know nothing. They call Columbus a murderer. They know absolutely squat about crap. Well, and everybody's fast to say murderer, racist. They're quick to go like that. So you're just acetates. You go in there in the 1930 speaking to the migrant, it's going to come back to you. That's all these kids are. That's all they are. If you get into a conversation with them, they're, 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 there's nothing. There's no conversation. There's nothing. They know nothing. And they when they get past nothing. the fact that they're so superficial, then they're like they Zen, scream and holler. Zen monks. They give up everything they have in their whole life for their purpose. And then go running, screaming at death. I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die. And then fall to war. <laughs> we know this. We know this. But understand the miracle that also goes along with us. Emmanuel, God with us always. Born in us. The information that I have, being able to speak to all things, being that I write the stories that are all around me. I taught myself to be a writer because I want, I love writing, so I love movies, I love the, the visual. I can tell people, share people what I see in my head just from the words you say, the pictures that go up. The reality of heaven, on earth it is in heaven, and the continuum too. What we have set down here, and we've managed to perfect it, getting all to this point, and all this together as one. We can look back to our children. Are they coming up the same way we did? Do they have the beautiful, and the serene, and the happiness that we world? Do they have the blessed assurance? It's no different in the world. No different in the world. Do they have different in teaching? Well, then it's a different world. They were taught to be different. Well, that which you know in your heart, that's what you've been built up with, it's going to be you and young. That's why you have a swamp, that's why you have a crap. All right, but it's coming to full circle now. And you don't have to throw out the baby with the bad water. No, uh, international business machines, IBM, and Apple, Microsoft, so yeah, they're not necessarily evil people, they're working on communication. But if we had CHC... I don't believe any corporation is evil because there, you know, there's certain things we need to advance as a civilization that these these are bringing us too, but on the same token, anything, anything, this pen can be used for good or evil. I understand the difference between old money and new money. Yes, I do. Pre-Titanic, pre-Titanic, people made the business quicker. Post-Titanic, Rockefeller, J.P. Morgan, Bayern Washington, Quinn for Quo, the purse, who controls the purse, controls the world. A difference. The industry makes the people. Yeah. Clones. See? Don't teach no God. Hitler coming out the same thing. And it wasn't just Hitler. Hitler was a house painter in 25. This is only going along for him. It's just he was the poster child. And just like everybody else, they get the smoke blowed up the backside. This is hard news. They walk over and they never see anything terrible. And when he was fleeing from the Americans free in the camps, he just walking down there with his best friend right behind him to pop. 
That's called skull and bones. You're going to do what I tell you to do. But that's why I was asking the imperative question yesterday. To look a little further down the story of what we're on now with modern day, modern day, you're off the script, modern day. I mean, you're on the script, understand. You can't get away from God. But modern day, what man focused on, information, like Bloomberg said, information, that is the industry now. Now, people who know how to operate a machine and put an arrow in this, they don't, we got to take care of these people. Oh, and the people who know how to do the, the farming, stuff like that, oh, I can put a seed in the ground, put some dirt on it, here comes corn. Right? These people were going to have to carry these people. We, they didn't really know too much. They're just pretty timid. You know, they're more, more towards beast than they are man. Oh, but information. All we're going to do is CIA, NCIS, whatever. We're going to sell information back and forth to each other. And we're going to learn this, and we're going to perfect this, and we're going to learn how to operate the Marriott's. Puppeteers. Yeah. And then G6 over G5, as we are sound and vibration and light. That's all matter is. How does it react to signals? As I told you, the original contemplation was we're going to put our cables underground because the overhead, overhead wires, our studies show they cause leukemia, they cause neurological problems, and they could be cause carcinogenic, they could be causing cancer in your body. So we got to get these lines from over there. No, 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 we're not going to do that. We're going to put them underground here because we're smart. And before they even got a halfway across the ocean, but they ran into it. Oh, well, this is where the slave ship came through when we anniversary. We've got to rewaken that. I forgot all about that. I, didn't, I wasn't taught it in school, but I've taught it now. So we're going to stop with the cross underneath the ocean cable. And I mean, there's some deep spots over there. Maybe we didn't really quite think it through. We need to run a line over there like that. I mean, there's not too much confidence in what they put together. So it's kind of like a paper mache. But anyhow, then they went to, we're going to go wireless. What happened to the signals announcement? No, we're going to go wireless. And because of the adverse way it affects the body, we're going to put radio dishes in every corner of New York City. It keeps people healthy. But no, let's not do that. You know what? This is going to beat our medical industry. And how about medical paradigm? Where they haven't even trained the American doctors since 1990. No American schools for doctors since 1990s. And the mortality rate of the white people who were targeted for extinction, the UN meeting in 2000 where the minority, that's the uh, black and the brown and the red, got together and they decided unanimously that the white would be made extinct. Oh, you're recording this? Yes. Oh, I think okay. I'm Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. I heard it on WBA. I no, I mean, you're recording this right now? Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, good. I'm good. Good. I was going to tell you. you just take a look. You should be recording this, but I'm glad you are. Oh, I don't know if I want to get my face on the phone. But yeah. No, why would you not want to get your face on the I see it's recording. Look, the red, the red light's on. Either, either we're being recorded or we're being visited, one or the other. All right, hey, I was going to tell you, hey, we should be recording this. <laughs> you're changing the teaching. That's why Finland's the same thing. And the kids will never know. Never know why, why do we have to live like this? Why do we, they'll never know freedom, they'll never know nothing. All they want to teach them is the final outcome. Should I turn on the lights? If you'd like. Yeah, it'd be better for your, for your friends over here. But I did want to bring Well, now that we've become enlightened, I think it'll add to the ambiance. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I said, target like uh, Chestnut Hill University and stuff. They're specializing in internet security. I don't do well. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. No, but I don't mind going for taking time. Well, I want to relax. I, I've been running around all day. And I just got back a little bit ago. I'll make sure I uh, enlarge it to be a close up on myself. Well. I mean, Lord knows if it was a needle sticking in your arm, I'd be able to record it, not a problem. But it might be adverse reaction to this. I don't care if you record it if I'm smoking weed, because I'll sell them all, fucker. Fuck you. You're for a heroin injection, but I can't smoke weed? Get the fuck out of here. Well, I like that. I like that, because then I can be myself. And you can definitely be yourself. Dennis hollered at me the other night, I was trying to record while we were smoking. Don't put that in there, don't put it. And he gave you the second guess or something. I told you, I'm transparent. There? There's nothing I have to hide. You what, know what, I mean? what could you hide? There's nothing to hide. What's to hide? Who you got to hide a problem? Exactly. Somebody going to spank me? This is the object of Planned Parenthood. But as I said, that was the whole objective of getting rid of our men and our fathers, coming out through the world wars, getting rid of the older brothers, so we got to leave mom at home, the widow and the orphan, and their are To control. Here. To control. Yes. Then bring in the TV. Rosie Riveter died the other day. But it's separate the household where, you know what? The man's going to be challenged. My man do make a fucking ton of sense. It's and the Bible. 
Well, hey, he's written. Everybody interprets it a different way. I don't interpret it. I read it, I it out, he tells me. You do, and it's, it's he talks exactly what you say is what it is. So if nobody, you, you feel that you ever got somebody's attention or ear in your life, do you feel that way? Did you ever get somebody's attention or ear? Because you fucking got mine is all I'm telling you. That's all. Well, I kind of do. Me. <laughs> I kind of do, but the whole thing is, well, that's cool. I can take it, I can do this with it. And I'm left here. Remember Joseph in the prison? Yeah. He tells the dreams. Three years it took him to come back with his ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm making too much over here. Oh no, no, no. You know what? I can lose my job. I'll lose. No, no, no. I took his story. No, 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 no. I'll pray for him. I'll pray for him. I found God now. I'll pray for him. Now, you're doing this. I'm going to see the edited version of this. Yeah. Before you put it out. You don't see it before you put it out, so I know where you're eating. Just because, well, I don't want to look too much. Because I, I usually know. post it on my YouTube site and then I share it. Okay, I'll do this for you. I'll do this for you. You do what you do, because that's what you do. And I'm sure I'll like it. I don't give a fuck put it up. You know what I mean? Well, there's always I'm not that type of person. There's always a ball save. A what? There's always a ball save. Matt and I did this. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your time? <laughs> I, I can never blame any nut for what this nut does. <laughs> but we're starting to come peace with that. Now, when you were growing up in Kenton, uh, Happy's on the corner? Happy's. Ball in the parking lot? Hose ball. Happy's. Fire plug? Uh, fire plug. Uh, freeze tag. Freedom. Sledding on the back cars? Back the car. Hey, hey, hey. Su I never did that. Suicide, no, Suicide Hill in McPherson Square Park. I did Snake Road. Snake Road. I did it in a truck too. I came back on a load. <laughs> 24 foot street job. <laughs> wow. Scared to shit out of a couple bikers. <laughs> well, that's why I made all the, the, the Kensington <laughs> groups for memories. Yeah. Because I see what's happened in the uh, what happened already in Fishtown. It's happening in Kensington. That's in 10 more years, we won't have a Kensington to go back to. They came into New Brunswick, New Jersey, Rutgers did. And they straightened it up, and they started the same way they did. I've been pissing and moaning since Philadelphia here, since I heard about it in the 80s. Drug free school? You put what in my, tape, my town? A drug free school? You put what in my town? You did what? You put a zone in the middle of You did what? Hello? You did, who are you? Who are you? Where the... Where the hell did you come from? That was designed to lock a lot more people up for a lot longer. It was designed to abuse. It was designed to people selling their kids, and it became used and applied mutually because everybody there was. And they were just to take their houses. I got, I got a, I got a, I got a quick eye opener for a lot. These are of not people. smart fishermen. They're not smart at all. But I have a quick eye opener for a lot of people out there who don't realize that. Most of the people out there selling drugs are under 18. They're children. And there's a reason. I was a child when I first started. There's a reason. It's they you catch you out. And they let you go. And you keep it going. And as far as opportunity on the street for employment? There is. Oh, I can't work over there because my hands will get dirty. Well, I can't work over there because you know what? I'm not going to do that. Well, I'm not going to do that. I'm, no, 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 no. That's well, that, that may be this day and age. But when I was younger, I sold drugs to survive. I was homeless on the streets. I sold drugs to survive. And believe me, I worked as a dishwasher yes. and went to school. Yes. Homeless. Homeless. Yes. And when I lost my dishwasher job, I went and worked in a factory. When it got too much to where I was getting zero sleep, I said, I got to eat and I got to live. I, I have to quit school. What's the, the, the best way for me to... Make manifest your reality. Make it physically well, up. I had to get a home. Make it possible. That's to very it. fucking hard at a 15 so year old. To make, yes. So I did what Thank I had you. to do to survive. You sowed the seeds. You thought it out. You made a plan. You worked the plan. That's the same thing as the book. I didn't count on it being my retirement plan. You know what I mean? No, I don't think anybody does. You, you don't make it retired as a drug. We're not player. taught. We're not taught. It's all about You're education. You're taught. Maybe you'll have another day. Or nobody's promised another day. We're supposed to be taught. You're here. You made the heaven. From Make the time you birthed. of the day you're here. From the time you're birthed. Don't worry about the day you're birthed. You're birthed here. You're in heaven already. Welcome. 
The only true gospel in the Bible. The only true gospel. The kingdom has come. The only gospel there is. The kingdom has come. The rest fills that out. From the cross. Hmm. By his stripes we are healed. Now intellectually you could say, well, by this continuum laying down, so you're going to be raised like me and we're going to be raised together with knowledge of the entire world and the ability to have their own opinion, knowing right from wrong. There's not, there's male and there's female, yeah. But above male and female is right and wrong. Good and evil. That's all there is. When it comes down to intellectual, you can grow up the same person as me. He can come up to you because he knows by my stripes because he's getting too. He'll show you the same holes as him. But no, I'm not settling for that. I want Jesus. Because Jesus came back in his full form and said, Thomas, to let you know it was more than just intellectual. Follow it through to the detail, to the letter. Why do you think, why have you abandoned me? I haven't been pulled down here yet. Hmm. You don't see with your eyes. You see his maneuvering and all the dynamics of different schematics and engineering and buildings and structure, but you don't see the physical. Rarely, I, do, I have seen spirits. And I have heard at least one genuine disembodied voice, and one voice in my own head that wasn't mine. And that was since my daughter took her life. Wait a minute, are you going to be all right right now? Like we don't have a scuffle here and I'm not going to do that. that. No, okay, that was okay. Yeah, but I'm, I have a sense of you. We used to be able to talk openly and be able to relate. Then it's like you we, can't. No, we can. That. We can. Yes. I dig it. You know what but I mean? We That's have it. to deal with other people because when they come back, when they come into heaven, at least I'm surrounded by family to welcome them. On earth is in heaven, it's only one place. Quantum physics, there's only this much of the light bar that we can see, as sound and light and vibration. There's only that much physical light that exists. Man can see this much so far. We haven't gotten this last piece. Even I was told to Tesla with this energy out of the air, that's pretty much what the wireless stuff is. And I did hear tell that they had managed to do a molecule through a transporter, go in here, and it popped up over there. Yeah, they, they do that now. Yeah, that's now, cool. the ignorance that they came out with, well, we're going to put an elevator up to the moon or a space station. That no, did. some of that was an asshole now. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a hell of a time. And how do they do it? Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> <in the moon? laughs> but even if they man, lived in a universe where everything was stayed still, that would be okay. But how are you going to put an elevator up to anything in space when everything moves? Exactly. Exactly. Now the other part of this, as I said, from linear to non-linear. Now I'm also noticing these other things coming through the season. As I said, I've been I started the town crier back in 2007. Basically, we wrote one part, wrote the part into the show, and then took the part, and they hired me. But anyhow, uh, you, you see it come place with anniversaries. You see it come do with due times. There's the uh, anniversary of Martin Luther and all that. It's all relevant coming back around again. So it's like it's raining down the wisdom on all people. All you have to do is receive it. The, 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 the blood moons, the harvest moons, the, uh, the star in Orion's armpit, which is called the breath of Orion, is pulsating. If it goes supernova, we're going to have the light of a full moon for one full year. At the same point in time, everything's happening here. It's coming to pass. It's, as they, they put out UFOs and stuff like that back in the 20s, so when that was after the Azusa Street, where people were actually being healed, they seen miracles taking place. This is what actually gave the oak that drove like uh, Billy Graham and Hank Williams Sr. up through the South to the Carnival to Carnival and doing the Ten Revivals. This is what birthed all that. We've made it here now. They've progressed this. They'll tell you no God. They'll tell you they don't believe in God. But the people behind the scenes, just like when they were developing psychotropics to get you to talk, to get you behave the way to mind control. They, they developed it in culture. They found out how you learned. And that's why you'll sit there and the whole family will sit there around a TV set and watch a Cosby show, Cosby show. And they're all having a good time and oh yeah, that's going to be me someday. And oh yeah, meanwhile they're just getting older. And if one of them passed away, God forbid, they turn around and look and they can't even watch the show because they're not there anymore. And it breaks their heart. They used to be right there. They used to be that was me. I was trapped as a TV kid. Yes. Old movies myself. I still raised me. I still do. That was my escape. What I watch now, though, is all educational history. Anything that's factual, I watch now. Yes. That's it. It's prayer. Ask and answer. I pray. And he tells me where to look. 
It's nothing different than an archive. That's why I said it's important with the books and the library. This new library they got planned. That's why I put the staple in this project here. Show me, show me this. Where's it at? I want to see this. Uh, what you did yesterday? What, what's it off? YouTube? Yeah. So you can go to YouTube. Yeah. I I've never been able to. I'll YouTube. subscribe to your channel and I'll, uh, you subscribe to mine. Yeah. I don't even know how to get to it. I'm not very literate with this stuff. Well, what's your, your YouTube name? I'll just punch in your name. Philadelphia Disney Company. That's it. I'll just punch it in. Philadelphia what company? The Philadelphia Disney Company dot com. Disney? Okay. Disney started off. The, see, Disney's idea was to be able to make a park where a father could take his daughter for the day, I guess he was a single father, mm -hmm. and have a good time. And me, I'm the alternate side of Disney. I'm the, the father who wants a place to bring my children home to. A home, a community, a town. Well, I think every parent wants that. Exactly. You put the two together, you have a dad. Company? Philadelphia Disney Company? Yeah. PhiladelphiaDisneyCompany.com. Let's see what another year town. This is one from yesterday. They started me another YouTube channel. They don't let me get my name one. William David Bragg. Okay. Right one. Capital I. Oh, it's an I? Yeah. There he is. That's your word, that's yeah. it. And there's the one from uh, the other day. I so see that one. But they don't tie into my Philadelphia Disney company. That has 150 videos on it. My meetings, my interviews are downtown. That's what they're doing. Yeah, that's what Speaking to the, uh, the against Prevention Point in Kensington. If you folks will tell it to the camera. I appreciate that more. That's me getting a response. I hear you. I listen for him. I'm going to show you uh, something I did. And everything that's going on today is basically what I said back then. Okay. This is Kensington, the neighborhood of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. where I grew up. When I grew up in this neighborhood, it was full of industry and jobs. No vacant houses, no empty lots. Everyone looked there to their neighbors. By way of anything as little as a cup of sugar or a glass of milk. This is 2010. Now, and a place of neighbors are ready to buy the trash and use drug barrel. So basically, the people aspect of the neighborhood is just. No, I don't want to start this over because you can barely hear me on this one. you got to hear. <clears throat> This neighborhood was full of industry and jobs. No vacant houses, no empty lots. Everyone looked there to their neighbors. By way of anything as little as a cup of sugar or a glass of milk. All that's going now, and a place of neighbors are vacant lots full of trash and there's drug paraphernalia. So basically, the people aspect of the neighborhood is just about the menace. And there's only a very small percentage of people left here from when I was a child. But they are here, so let's not forget about them. Yes, I'm a gun, but I'll get stabbed up all in the lungs. Yeah. Kensington, Kensington, that's where I'm from. Kensington, Billy B, that is where I'm from. Why you can get killed? Yes, I'm a gun, but I'll get stabbed up all in the lungs. Yeah. Kensington, Kensington, that's where I'm from. Where I'm from, these bodies drop all day. Kensington is crazy, forget and lay. I done seen it in front of my eyes, in front of my face. Heard about people getting tired of born in their place. All the snitches born in the cops, the dragon. All the ones you want to come, huh? There's a drug place, all little kid Carrying a lot of hate Damn it, I done seen it all I done seen the break, man rise and fall Go to the top, then hit the floor Then come back and pick themselves up the floor Some don't make it back, but they don't want to live no more These petty streets, yeah, they all real Some are addicts, and some do deals Just to get a drug, or get a good meal You know, if you from Kenzo, you know how I feel I'll wait for you to 
come back, you can cut this and edit it and do whatever, but you're out of smoking, so I'll wait come back. You know what? I'm going to smoke my weed. You can smoke in here. This was, this was a gambling room, so there was a lot of smoking going on there. Speak easy. And what are your thoughts about, uh, as they approve the safe injection site for Kennington? And it's a pilot program, I'm in, in favor of it. And it will be a, like an albatross taking off, I, I grant you that. But I'm sure we're mature enough and we've been seen enough to be able to put a, a bridle and reins on this thing and not a problem. But it said needleless. And the other thing is, are other dealers in the area? These children of ours and young men of ours, now old men of ours, who grew up generationally and the only opportunity that was left for them as their jobs were taken out of town? What's the drug trade? Can we get them distributorships and licenses and see if they, will the storefront set them up in their own stores? I highly doubt that. Well, that was the, that was the offer from the bank. If they come up with a store concept, well, it's going to make we money. We don't know how offers end up. You know, they, they offer you everything to get what they want. Yes. And once it's in motion, fuck you. That's just how they roll. No, but you, you, they recorded it. And they wrote it down with an offer, a written offer. So and it's we'll some document there. That means you accepted the offer as it was made. That takes a old verbal non-binding agreement. Ah. No, too well, then I can give you just one example of many in this city where a community was guaranteed and promised a lot of bait things. Bait and switch. That's the MO. That's right. Bait and switch. Thank you. I, that's yeah. what I was getting toward. That's the MO. And my, my example would be the Sugar House Casino. Yes. They promised that everybody in this community would have jobs. I started preaching that. That's when I started preaching the Fifth Dynasty, where we can do south of 95 here with parking garages. No car traffic, no vehicular traffic on Allegheny. We might even, depending on where the Allegheny River, we have to do surveys on that. We might even be able to put a, an underground trolley if they really want to keep cars up on top. But I'd rather have it just be a pedestrian road and maybe the underground trolley, like Disney, gets supplied down Florida. That's where the truck... There's a city underground of Disney. Right? Up in Long Island, when I went out there to Hempstead and stuff like that, there's a mall there where you get the mall and all the stores. And trucks drive around the back and you go underneath ground and there's loading dock down there. Yes, of course. So why can't we do that here? We can. All right, so we can do that for the main car fair. Put up the Midway Theater and the University of Pennsylvania, or University of Philly, excuse me. Put the parking deck down here and the parking decks would be a, a public-private partnership. So the sugar house will put out the money to have them put up and everything like that. And the people that run the area, that live in the area, the chamber of commerce for the area, community, they would be the one to have ownership of it. And a certain percentage of what they're making in the garage goes towards paying off the debt. Uh, outside of that, then the community owns the parking garage. So the people come here for all the advertising for the gambling, and the community gets, just like with the virtual sites, with your Ticketmaster. You go Ticketmaster, we are, they change us from vocational and a, a, a manufacturing city into a city of hospitality. And the ticket master sells all the events in town, it's out in California. So we're not getting a dime of money. Why can't we do a, a CHC, as I said, the, the one true search engine that will be verified or like that? Why can't they set up a ticket master where they do, oh, uh, G, T, the Godfather, Consigliere. Consigliere. Yeah, Golden Ticket, Charlie. Consigliere. Yeah, Consigliere. <laughs> And that would be the GT Cancellary card. Our answer to Ticketmaster. We don't have no Ticketmaster. You know, we pay a price here. And the money stays here. Same thing with these value stores and the, oh, shopping, oh, here. I can understand they don't want our bed bugs and our roaches and stuff like that, but they really like our retro and blue collar look. It's really chic and they can't get it in their richy neighborhoods because they don't have torn up clothes and dirty stuff like that. But anyhow, how about we put back to mom and pop shops, make virtual online as well, and as far as the catalog, Kensington Stuff Exchange, for the clothing, you have consignment shops here. They're put here from the scrap yard for donations, and when it's sold off, it involves the whole community with the community and with the business. That's a, that's a community of people coming alongside the people that run their businesses. When I ran for state representative in this community here, that was one of the things that I, I was 
set on, which was, we don't live in neighborhoods no more because they took the neighbor aspect out. Yeah. We just live in hoods. This is work. This is hood. Mm -hmm. You can't walk down the street and say hello to three people and know their first and second name anymore. Oh, what's the difference between here and Iran? In Iran, they ran out in the desert and they got in a hole in the ground and pulled a blanket over top of the camouflage. Over here, we live in a hood. Pulled over top of our heads. Same government. Yeah. That's what the global crap is. All right, that's what the understanding of man is. You know what? Uh, there is no God. This is a fool. A fool says in their heart there is no God. And they've seen the patterns of man, just like every other species on earth, of the ability to comprehend and cohesively understand what it needs for its environment from least to the greatest, from freaking amoeba up to the, the, the brilliance. And for those who don't know what an amoeba is, can we elaborate on that? One celled animal? Yeah, single celled animal. <laughs> There's one jellyfish that's never died since the beginning of time. I've seen a documentary on that. It, it builds up its whole life and then breaks itself apart, and there's one cell that remains, and it keeps on reproducing itself. Well, what about the octopus? That's also an investigation they're getting How into. many hearts does the octopus have? Mm -hmm. The brain moves all around its body. Yes. What we were taught in this static teaching, especially when they got away from the Guffey readers, especially when they got away from God, because God meant a challenge to the authority as the holy thing, I've been challenging authority my whole life. <laughs> Here in America, we're not supposed to do that, especially in Philadelphia. Uh, sorry, that's my MO. Like Christ said, it is finished. Penn said the same thing, and put a cherry on top. And George said, looks good. I, here's my belief, and it's been my belief my whole life. No man is an authority figure over no man. Exactly. So how can I respect authority? I don't believe in it, so I wouldn't respect it. No. Authority is biblically supposed to be taught. Is the I come to it's you to because keep what everybody you know. in line. No, 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 no. Well, what you know, I can appreciate respect to everything in your life that you've been through. Every experience you had, when I come up to you, I can merge with that spirit. And any nuance of what I'm doing that I need to know as a farmer, I can ask you, my neighbor. And you fill me right in. Well, isn't that? And I go away with that information. Isn't that what humanity is supposed to do? I'm supposed to why, do, yes. why do we sell information? We need to give information to make to make the next generation have it. Without the foundation of God. As I said, you do reach a point of consciousness where you're Jesus. Who? I've been there. Been through it. And you're out there. The tall, open, white, and there's nothing I can, there. I can be totally honest with you right here about the whole Jesus thing. Um, I do believe that there was a man named Jesus, and I do believe that all these stories, because, you know, something was seen, somebody wrote that down for a reason, but do I believe that um, he did these, like, miraculous things? It's documented. I believe, well, I believe half of what I see and nothing of what I hear. It's documented, you see, it's Docu documented in the secular writing. Listen to me, so was everything I learned in school was documented, and they're telling me that it was wrong, that they made a mistake. Sorry, that, we didn't notice that. That's why I always say, to keep from being a heretic, even when they're coming along, show me. Don't let me speak as a heretic, show well, me. Listen, that's how I am in life. I don't take everything plain. You're not supposed to. I Even Abraham. I examine. I, I I look into everything myself. There was Jephthah who God gave him the victory. And he went around boasting about how God gave him the victory, God gave him the victory. And he won up well, well when I come back from this victory uh, first thing that comes out my door I'm going to burn it in victory in honor of God. To one of God. Instead of humbling himself with what God had done. Right? So his daughter was first thing out the door. He let her go for 30 days, and then apparently, this is where they get the story of the first nun, then she was sacrificed. Abraham, the people the same way. He went out, he slept with an Egyptian girl. He slept with an Egyptian girl. God said the firstborn was going to be of Sarai, not this Hagar, and he slept with her. That child must be killed now. The firstborn, is that came from God, obviously it's going to be of the devil now, because it came second. So he must be killed. And Abraham took him up on the rock. And Abraham had him bound, had the knife up there. See, even and then he turned around and said, you know what, authority? Immaculate conception? 
the hell with you? This is my son here. They're both my children. But how is all of that <clears throat> any different from what we were just talking about? Authoritarian. Same thing. thing. Because you're, you're saying there's a God to keep you in line. He's the authoritarian, right? He's one that spoke to Abraham and said, don't take your son. But all this is designed to keep everybody in line with the status quo. That's whatever was at that time. The Bible said this is a serpent talking to Eve, talking to the bride. He tried to say, well, surely, but well, surely, but well, surely, this is, a, this is the same thing, but surely. I've seen the other side. I've seen the physical existence of the other side. I've had things appear where there was nothing there. And other people's, my communications are just like that. And it seems like it's all things are responding to what I'm asking. Even out loud. Even when I was in county, walk around the yard, listen to a guy who was on the headset and I had radio there. And walk around and he says, you know, I'm not believing all this stuff. I said, go ahead, ask me a question. And we were walking behind the other two guys. He asked me a question. I said, and the guys up in front of us answered it. I said, ask me another question. He asked me another question. The guys walking up front were bullshitting back and forth. And they were talking about just that. And they answered the question. He said, I'm getting away from you. <laughs> okay, man, hey. You talk to the soul, you talk to the spirit. Just like everything that you're writing, everything that you do, all your music, all your movies, everything like that, that's the martyrs. That's the spirit inside you, even though you don't know how to speak in the Holy Spirit, the spirit that cries out for you, it's being made manifest in everything you do. They know you by your ways. It's all true. But we're not trained to be that complex or that simple or that trusting. Well, I hope that you don't mind and the viewers don't mind if I take my safe injection right now. That's fine. And I don't <laughs> even mind if you're we'll doubtful. Take my lung injection right now. Nothing man has ever done. Nothing man can ever do. Nothing, anything, any, nobody can have to do or replace or erase what Christ did. All done. The kingdom has come. All done. No matter what you do, done. it comes back to him. Yes. That's it. God gave you the entire perimeter. Fill it up. Fill it up. That's all. You don't have to do a darn thing. Just fill it up. Enjoy. Celebrate. Rejoice. I think that's the problem with humanity. Everybody wants to fill up everything, right? Just live. Everybody's in a race to get They've been putting competition one against the other. They haven't been taught God. That's my taught, point. You want to be free. Everybody's in a race for what? You want to be free. You're only going to be free if you can be smarter than the guy next to you. I chased money my whole life. Look at CAC, Chapman Hill University. Instead of learning how to do online sales, the integrity of the internet, sealing things up, they're doing more and more systems for security. <coughs> All they're training towards is, is information and sealing. Is information security, yes. And sealing. I was going to go to Chapman Hill College for that. For, now, you're for going to cyber pay, security. How much are we paying taxes to be safe in this country? Oh, how much blood have we spent to be safe in the United States of America? And then the, the Department of Commerce brings in this item that, well, you know, I know how much you spend on the budget and how decade, a century, I understand the entire plight of your trail and your journey and your path. And for another $250 a year, I can secure you online. <laughs> well, it's all to get, you know, we're consumer nation. Film is obsolete. They ran out of ideas. They don't understand this is the beginning of extinction. They ran out of ideas. The oh, film's too old, it's no good. The film lasts over 100 years. DVD and CD, 25 at best. Electronic image, did you have it plugged in? Did you, did you save that? No. That's how long an electronic image can last. Well, Eternity an, or an instant? No, it's an instant because once technology fails, we're back in the stone yes. ages. Because none of these new generations are learning a fucking thing. Not if you have film, you always have your industry. And books. Not if you use this way for books, because if everything's non-books and on here, you got Wikipedia, you know what? I'm depending on my life on this. They did this to me, I can prove it in court, here's the law that's the law's not there no more. What happened? We are we are we are going no into books. we're going into the era of the Book of Eli. Did you ever see the movie The Book of Eli? No. It was a fight for information on this planet. Technology was gone. Nothing there was one guy who had a book. Nobody could even read. But they knew that that book contained knowledge, and everybody wanted it. And when everybody, when they got that book over of Eli, it was in Braille. Look at the pseudo psychologist. Look at what you're already looking for. The answer is not Christ is already done; the kingdom's here. The answer is we still got to go through another door. There's plenty of doors. We still got to go through. 
All the way here. This this world has been here for eons, man. You think we're the only civilization? There was there's probably thousands of civilizations before in the, us. In the movie the book of Eli, it comes out in uh, two thousand teens, right? All right, coming forward as they're laying down. See, Hillary is supposed to win in 2016, but it, it's still a twist. Obama's still in line and he's trying to push it. If they can remove the the money and everything by uh, fudging the election, which is online to happen at this point in time, mm -hmm. all right, at that point in time, it becomes all information based. Nobody has any money left. But just like the film, you know, you haven't got. I can sell it to you again. You got this over here? No, 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 no. It's not good enough you work and save and you have it. It's not yours for blessed assurance. Yeah, I got it at home. I can relax it. No, no. I'll rent it to you again. You want a TV service? You don't put it on TV. No, 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 no. I'll give you for forty dollars a month just internet. You can have your cable. And now, oh, 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 oh forty dollars a month. But then we got twenty dollars a week for. Well, you got traveling charges too. You want to have your phone? So you got forty dollars for a month and twenty dollars a week. And we're gonna we're saving you money this way. They're throwing you out different packages of numbers. It's the same crap they've always been doing. They haven't reduced, they haven't lowered, they have nothing. And the whole idea is, as I said, the 16th Amendment was totally illegal. They lied. It was never ratified. All right? That's taking a personal income tax. They turn around to the, the, the businesses at this point in time, just like Venezuela, where the government's going to own all the business too. And there you go right down the pike. You'll be dispatched. That's slave. That's property of state. What do you think a definition of a slave is? You have no will of your own. You have no ability to do for yourself. You have no time or well, if that's the definition, we're all fucking slaves. Yes, until we stand up, until we stand for who we are. When we stand up and stand for who we are, no, we're not. When we understand what we Well, have. I understand. Hey, well, I'm saying if that's a definition, then every person is a slave until they stand up. Yeah, it must be listening. They must be listening. Another 866 number. This afternoon I was talking down on the track card and I got an 800 number call. I answered it and it was in Chinese. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. No, no, I gave it to the office. <laughs> but this is how you're taught. Even with the Ewok, even with the Star Wars, even with the Skywalker, re re Return of Skywalker, the Skywriter, the Storyteller, Joshua, Daniel. It's the well, that's what I'm here. saying. I've read. I never read the Bible in my life, and I always believed in God because I was taught, you know. This. You lived it. Okay, I've lived it there. So I go to jail. Mm -hmm. I read more books than I've read in my whole 10 years in school. Yeah. In six months. And I read the Bible three times in that six months, front to back. There, every book has the same story, just told by a different set of eyes, who saw. So, you know, all this really goes down to this. You're just seeing all of them different points of view. Blends it out to the Photoshop. And that's that. And, and I, when I read it the first time, I didn't comprehend that. Mm -hmm. After the second time, I comprehended that. And I said, now I'm going to read it again to see if I can find any discrepancies in the stories. And I didn't only just read the Bible. Mm -hmm. I read a lot of other religious and they all <coughs> all the stories are somewhat the same except who they worship and who was a prophet Do you know why the son of God it's in the Bible everything was outlawed the authority did not like Christ as a threat the whole concept of God being above Caesar no it's a threat so anybody who came to hear him or even speak about him or even talk biblical Christian they were in fear for their life so they grab a line if they could and take and build your entire community on that one line. So how is what Obama said to the mass is any different than what Caesar said and believed? No different. None. None. No Zero. different than anything anybody said. No, no. Obama actually said, um, if everybody commits to sin, do we all go? Are we all? Then we all can't go. You down. take us all or take none. And God says to him, "You're you're full of it." Okay, but that's what I'm saying. How's that any different? What he's saying is, in other words. Don't listen to him, listen to me. I'm your God. If God is not a being, if God is inanimate, if God is just fictitious, you don't have that other that Obama doesn't have. He has only Obama here, and oh, I've seen all this, I know all this, I've tried all this, I've done all this, I've lied like this, I've lied like this, I've lied like this, it works like this, he tell you this here, you say that there, they believe you everywhere, lie, 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 lie. 
I got into college because I'm a foreign exchange student, just like Pocahontas. I made the president. Old money versus new money. That's, hey, I know. First of all, whoever's in office is only there for entertainment to entertain the masses. The powers that be still control whoever's in there, so I don't care if it's Trump or whoever. They're just faces, man. That's it. The so appease money, money the masses. Just says the same money. Exactly. Now with Mohammed. Republican and Democrat, they're the same. It's just, hey, how do we split this up to keep these people happy and these people happy? I was told Mohammed was an orphan. And the only one who took him in was his uncle. His uncle owned the Mecca over there. And Mecca, because he also ran, he was a religious leader too, he ran the area so the Mecca was a safe zone. This is one on the Silk Road. And when the Chinese was able to do something with that. But then uh, they rose up and they started getting greedy with it and they started getting thieves on the roads like that. But uh, Mohammed found a place to live with his uncle. And everyone knew that. He was the uncle's nephew. But he's more or less like a son. He was going to be the one inheriting the Mecca. And now when he passed away, they basically had the same thing where two versions of the story, it's the eagle and the serpent always. Two versions of the story, which one would they follow? But that's my point. This is why there's the same like version of this, listen, in the Bible, mm -hmm. it's the same version, I mean, it's the same story, different versions. Why? Because there's one common denominator. Yes, yes. But they want to get every different mind and every different reality in somebody's mind and capture that to give them the same message through who, however many people they need. What's it, 13 apostles, they crop. 12 apostles? They crop, and they, they use them as harvest and fields. Because they're no longer human beings. All they are is figments, stereotypes, commodities. They're, they're structured, they're prepared, they feed certain markets. Why is man given a, given a, why, and I can't say man, why are Americans given a social security number like a piece of stock, and that's our stock number? So you have a right entitlement to your rights. No, it's you're registered because we're stock. We are used for trade with other countries. In other words, this is how many taxpayers we got. They keep a running count, so we're good for X amount per year to borrow. Two stories. The social security number is to register you as a citizen, legal citizen, being here. True story. The social security number is the way they exploit us. Of course. But the primary story, the true story, you don't get exploited. It's a registry you being here. It's a come down to terms, but you're allowed to be here. If I'm born here, how am I now from here? I'm a second I need a citizen. number to tell me I'm not. I was born here. They declared me a second class citizen, a slave, because of my skin color. Which is? White, so translucent, Caucasian, Manila, depending on how dirty when, when were you? considered a second class citizen? 1973, affirmative action. I was born in 72. I couldn't get a job working as a postman. I passed the test first time through. But no, you got a veteran, you got minorities, you got women. And if you don't pay for to go call you. Yeah, it was, it, was a, it, was a, it, was a, it was a time change then. And I said that to everybody, like, that's really what changed everything about America was the 60s. In the 1990s. Ford plant, when Bill Clinton was doing his deal with the Ford plant there in Virginia Road in Edison, right, the Ford Union Hall had a moratorium on hiring white guys. You're not allowed to hire white people for the assembly line. And a black man did not have to do his job. If he did not do his job, the supervisor could only take him and send him into the boss's office until the end of his shift and that would be it. See you tomorrow. And that was that. Hmm. The same thing with, oh, you know what? You're not going to smoke in this store. You're not going to... This, this stuff that they come in here safe and jack and site. Why do you think this slippery slope we end now? We're going to do it because we're going to do it. We're going to tell you we're going to do it. And there ain't crap you can do about it. Well, you know what that's called to me? Business as usual in politics. No, that's called a crime. It's called a reason to prosecute. And it's called business to be taken care of. <clears throat> Who's going to prosecute the prosecutors? The prosecutor. Who? Do you think they don't also turn out to good? 
I think the people who fight for good in this country are, are they have a long, hard struggle whether they win or not, you know. Do you think there's no more lawyers that come from the log cabin and knock them in Ivy League? I know there's several of them. I know. I just know that they don't, they don't, I can't say they don't make a difference, but it's very hard for them to make a difference. They deter you would from you, wanting to make a difference. Would you know if you were actually having a conversation with a good Philadelphia attorney? Would I know? If I asked them a set of questions, I would. Okay. A certain set of questions, I would. But that doesn't prove how they are in a courtroom. I wouldn't know that until I was in a courtroom. Well, the theater of a courtroom has changed there. They're no longer allowed to uh, present their cases by precedent of the case and the matters of fact. They now go by the previous judge's determination on whatever he was talking about at the time. Now, I'm, gonna, I'm glad that you hit on that. I am so glad you hit on that. Here's why. You see all this paperwork here? Mm -hmm. I moved a lot of it before we started. But this is a criminal case. Yeah. Right here. A friend of mine, it was the Commonwealth versus Matthew Zimmerman. Uh huh. All right. Has a lot to do with addiction. Mm -hmm. And this is why I'm. Um, avid about the addiction crisis and this because my friend, my best friend, my brother, Matthew Zimmerman, is sitting in jail for two life sentences because of addiction. Because addicts said whatever the DA and the detectives asked them or told them to, yes. to have my brother arrested for the murders of his own parents without one single shred of evidence, not one, not one, not no DNA, no, no, not one. They take the words of these drug addicts mm -hmm. who are themselves looking at prison time and will say whatever it of, whatever they want them to say. So they don't go to prison and they yeah. continue to get high on the street. I think it's time, you know, People think and talk about addiction, they think about the poor slob on the pavement, knotted out, half dead. It goes way deeper than that. Do you know? It goes to families. Yes. It goes to Not the biggest, families. the biggest uh, fatality of addiction is the children of addicts. How they were grown. And most people who are addicted are children to addiction. Because in the United States... Who, who and when? Who, who is in charge and when does the cycle get broken? As soon as you realize that it's teaching, what you sow is what you're going to grow. Now in the dynamic where they did as they did, they mistaught all our children, taking God out of education, taking God out of the entire fact, taking ethic, where you work for a living, work and worship, Taking the, the Ivy ethic out of the United States. That's, they made the parents like this, and they made the children like that, intentionally. And why? Because the United States, to get around our Constitution, they cannot take our children away from us, but now, for just cause. Just like they caused a crisis for a photo op here, go down there, fill up enough profit, and take the money to the other side of and they do go, what they're That's right. They do the same thing to your kids. Just like in school, they're going to teach your kids what to learn for a career? I have so said, they don't want to be with your family. Your job is going to be on the other side of the world. I've said that for years now. They're not teaching what's here. They come into Kensington to use us as a poster child for whatever is going to profit them. Yes. They get their money and they go. They're going. Didn't you hear Sandy in the interview from the drug users? The only people who benefit from the drug house is the people who's getting the money. Oh, we all know that. I mean, that's the only reason why they're here. Well, I don't see one of them doing it for free. So then the freeholders getting control of the money. I'm sure that would turn a lot of heads downtown, wouldn't it? Sure it would. And because of the taxpayers' money and we are the taxpayers, I'm sure that would present some kind of situation where an attorney could actually speak up to these people. And because of the First Amendment and because of the preamble of the Constitution, that what they've done to me, I can embody in one person. Now what, now what my man is saying here is, 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 is stuff of fact. And if there is any attorney out there that, that would like to look into that, I would, I, would, I would encourage that because that's a, 
very good. Uh, Can they treat me like a little Kentucky boy? No, they can't. And that, see, that's what they don't want. Uh, I get my time, time. I got a drum. Well, they want you marching to the beat of their drum, not your own. And I carry my own. So do I. That's what that's my ability. That's what Kenzo's do. That's what Kenzo's do. That's why they're having a hard time here. I mean, listen, it, it, it. You can shit on us for a long time, but you know what? We start throwing shit the fuck. What do you think Catholic Buster is about? Why do you think they did it, the federal expansion on Bridge Street when I was a kid? Catholic busters. Break the community. Break the tithe. The Catholic break, Church. No, well, it's not. It's pretty much the Catholic Church being militarized. So that, uh, as I told George Bush in the Christmas Eve letter around 2006, uh, the water is tainted. When you go in there and dipping your fingers in the water. Oh, and, and in church, right? Yeah. yeah, the holy water. That's how they came in. They come in just like the serpent. They say, oh, everybody will tell you, oh, Satan knows the word best of all. No, he doesn't. The author knows it best of all. It's his word. It's his son. It's everything that he is. Pour it out in such a way to guarantee your son that everything that he is is now given over to him. And that his son will also have a community and friends and neighbors and family and a life. And it doesn't stop ever. Hmm. It's just a constant building. Refreshing, replenishing. It's called new wine, new wine skin. Simply, it's open the same old book, and just like they had an episode of uh, Supergirl, it makes a difference when Clark's the one who reads the book. It makes a big difference. Anybody can read the book anytime they want, but when Clark reads it, the way it was written, <laughs> the whole world changes, and that's why. Just like now, pro. Versus con, anti. Oh, don't call me a con, man. I'm against. No, pro. You're for pro, bro, profit. I'm, I'm joking. Con, citizen, con. Cain, who was raised that way. Why could I? Give, why should I give this God? Why am I? Why is it so important? Why is it? Why? Is it, why can't I do it my way? You know, I don't believe in this God. And there's Abel. Well, oh, that's you. This is America, and this is me. Be you about your business. You can have a good time too, mate. I'll pray for you. You can learn. Well, if you do something like that, I'm going to lock you up. Very simple. Very simple. I'm not a rocket scientist. I only call it as I see it. Yeah, and like I said, I've said, we. I don't think any of us have the answer to this problem. But I think if all of us put our heads together, and I'm saying those who are for and those who are against. We need to come together and work this out. See, the media will have us at odds with each other fighting because while we're fighting each other and arguing, they're doing what the fuck they're going to do regardless. Well, that's why and we all lose. That's why I went to six billion. Kensington brand, small electronics. We're going to have our video. We're going to have our film. We're going to have our digital. We're going to have our DVDs. We're going to have our CDs. Our people will be able to dream again. They'll have factories to go to. The prices in the area for housing, we commensurate about what they make in the area. The schools will be all be put back to what's taught in the areas, and also tied in national, <coughs> national, but just like federal to state to local, it has to be in unison with the federal. If it ain't in unison with the Constitution, it don't stand. I don't care if it's your state. It really makes no difference to me if it's your state. You can have your own Constitution too. Your Constitution's going to match up with that one. If it doesn't match up with that one, it's not good. It's not valid. That's right. It's not law. It's cra it's crap. You blow it out your butt. You know. Don't sit down at my table, cause I'll, I'll tell you, I'll throw you out. <laughs> but yeah, it's that base and simple. And you have that blessed assurance being able to play like this, that also gives you affirmation of the afterlife. And the scene that children enjoy and laugh, and you're laughing with them. There's no focus on, well, here comes another commercial, oh, oh maybe I got that sent to me, I got that sent to me. I ain't got no money in my pocket, I can sit here and watch this all day, maybe I got that sent to me, I got that sent to me, I got that sent to me. What do you think you've been programmed for? Psychological abuse. Military. Psychotic. Well, Freddy too. He comes out of the TV set. Psychedelic. It sucked you right in. Mm -hmm. You're sitting there with your family and everything. Oh, well on TV they went camping. On TV they went to the library. Oh look, we're going to the mall in the next episode. Wait. Whoa. 
Before TV, they controlled you by radio. Before radio, they controlled you by literature. Before literature, they controlled you by a storyteller. Before that, everybody was his own person. All rooted in allegory. Never was their own person. Always the enter. Never was their own person? It's the accuser. Never the own person. Okay. The accuser, the guilt you from the time you're little to train you up. To make you nothing more than another power horse. No, I'm talking about before speech. We were hunters and gatherers and that's what we did. Oh yeah, well before speech it was simple. You would be and if you didn't, they're not going to have You had your kid. job and you did it. You didn't do it. Or you dad. didn't eat or you died. That's, that's it, it, that's it. It's but everybody did their part. It says in the book, those who don't work don't eat. But that's why the governor of uh, Massachusetts was Clint Rock. That's what was very important. Russ Limbo told the story of Thanksgiving. When the governor first turned around and said, well, you know what? We're going to put everything in a kitty and we're going to share it equally with everybody around. And most of the pilgrims died. And they said, you know what, this farmer over here, he got a heck of an idea. What a man makes and keeps. That gives inspiration for everybody to get up off their butt and actually do something with their life. We're going to go with that way. What a man makes a man keeps. And the rest is history. Yes, we have a right. Yes, we pay this to contribute towards it. But this is not to contribute towards their paychecks. No, this, that's not part of the overhead. It's so infrastructure. They want to do their jobs. Yeah, we can hire them to do their jobs. Other businesses, they can't pay them for that. They're supposed to be voluntary to begin with. If we lived in a perfect world, <clears throat> we can all just stop paying into the taxation system and the whole governmental machine falls apart because they won't they won't get a paycheck and if they ain't get a paycheck they ain't they but don't want to govern. You don't want to do that until the manufacturing's up and running. You can't kick your legs out under you when you're no, in the legs. Listen to me, but but we are a nation of manufacturers and we build the companies, not not the guy sitting at the top that you work for, mm -hmm. the people. So every person can just do everything. For free, if that's what, you know, if you were doing something and getting paid for it, in other words, everybody just stops like France did. When they didn't like what the government was doing, they all said, fuck you, we ain't going to work, no taxes will be paid. Now that lasted for however long, and then guess what happened? <coughs> the government caved the fuck in, didn't they? I heard they drug him out and killed him. No. But the point of the matter is that we do, do have money as a tool, as a vehicle. And the work, people working for free ain't going to float it because there's no inspiration for them to go there, nor is there an inspiration for someone else to follow them there. But there isn't paying. I believe that the government offices themselves, as is clearly defined in the documents and in the Word, we can have Christ be every representative. And the only thing that needs to be stamped is the office. The laws are already written. The only thing that needs to be stamped is the office. You don't need any of these politicians. Yeah, well, don't need a single one of them. We know that. We're beyond that. I don't need anybody that was born and bred to be a politician to tell me what to do that never walked a fucking a block in my neighborhood to tell me how to live in my neighborhood. Well, that's why I said we, the whole referendum is uh, church and education and government. And it's just a reformation. It's bringing together the world. It's, it's what it's called for now. It's, it's walking through Armageddon with it, understanding that the, the mountains have been brought low and the valleys have been lifted up. Well, and we have a clear sight. Anybody in Kensington can attest to this statement I'm about to make. We've been walking through Armageddon in Kensington since the 90s. Since A.D. 33. When Christ had to go back because they were looking to kill him again. That's why he ascended. Okay. Alright? Well, I've, only been, I've only been here since you the 70s. You didn't came back. You pulled it all the, and they round up all those people and slew them. And then Constantine comes into play with the authority to set the books right. Now this is how you're all going to be able to gather now. All y'all come in, all y'all the way. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. This is it right here. The 12 steps of Rome. We abridge it a little bit. They copy from each other all the time. Because they think it's right. Well, that's why I left you in here to do the interview. Because I, I didn't say that. I was watching this video. I, I didn't want to do with this. I was hoping I'd get you to talk to yourself. I'm not good at talking to myself. I'm good at listening. Thinking and loud. Talking. I don't. I think always in my head. Mm -hmm. Always in my head. 
But I might get in trouble if I say someone out loud. Well, we need to, <laughs> we do need characters who are bold enough to go on camera and think out loud. <laughs>